Well, I think uh, that the questions that have been raised, I think, are right to the heart of the uh, issue. And I, I would just like to uh, point out, and, and here's where in my mind is, is in terms of, uh, I think we need to point out just what this home rule legislation is, is not and does not do. And number one, it does not uh, propose that local governments regulate uh, the gas drilling uh, industry. That's clearly a function of uh, DEC and, and the state uh, government. And in terms of uh, any involvement on my part in home rule legislation, I can assure you it's not a plot to kill the gas drilling industry in New York State. Admittedly, there are those who would attempt to use it as such, but that's certainly not my motivation. My motivation uh, is to give uh, a voice for local governments to have that, that voice respected uh, at the uh, uh, state level as they per permit uh, gas wells and uh, go forward with this uh, uh, activity here in New York. Now this home rule has been pointed out, this is a well established uh, principle in New York State uh, a law and in fact our constitution. We are a home rule state. In terms of legislation uh, before us here, uh, there are many states that I can point to that have plenty of gas drilling that are home rule states. Someone once uh, told me recently that, uh, you know, Governor Rick Perry from Texas would sign this home rule uh, legislation. It's not, does not kill the industry. But what it does mean, admittedly, is folks like you, you've got to keep in touch with your local officials. Uh, and you, you are local voices. I know there's a lot of focus on what's going on up at the state capitol, but believe me, you've got a lot more problems when it comes to economic development and even in gas, pro grass, gas drilling than this home rule legislation. Now you're, we're going to see bills next year that would uh, do away with compulsory integration. You talk about tying up an industry. If that law, uh, if that law which was intended to be fair to all property owners, if that ever got uh, uh, thrown out the window, you, you'd have serious problems. And uh, also, you know, uh, the governor's going to be under intense pressure, even within his own party, to, to do a whole a, a statewide ban on all of this activity. So you've got plenty of more problems in this home rule legislation, which is uh, not designed to kill the industry. This is what, uh, uh, here's, here's how I see it. Uh, I think D.C. has already sent a signal that they're not going to issue uh, more permits than they can adequately regulate. So I think we're going to go slow in New York State. Uh, and also, I predict that if D.C. comes up with the right formula uh, to uh, do this activity safely, and people, citizens, <coughs> and local governments who may favor exerting their uh, uh, land use planning and uh, uh, local zoning laws uh, either to ban or to uh, uh, make other impacts on the industry in their own communities. If they see what's going on in other parts of the state and it's being done safely and there are plenty of benefits, if that does come to fruition, I think you'll see local governments that either are considering or have uh, uh, done bans I think you'll see them change their mind if it can be proven that it's safely, it's being done safely, and there are a lot of benefits in, in other areas. So, uh, as I said at our last meeting, uh, this is just, just a vehicle which exists in New York State law, well established, to have it uh, also be a voice for local citizens, local governments, in terms of this uh, activity uh, as well. Now, in terms of the road issue, that's, that's already law in the state of New York. And you're absolutely right. If, if industry folks, any industry or any business, if you don't keep in touch with your local officials and have your voice heard there, you can get, uh, uh, you know, you can get blocked out of what is today a, a normal business activity. Uh, someone told me at the last meeting, they can't even, in one of the towns of the Otsego County, uh, they can't even um, uh, deliver uh, blacktop uh, to do a driveway because they're under whatever they pass in that town uh, under existing law they, they can only send one truck every other day or something into the town and so I mean that obviously is an unintended uh, consequence 
of existing law, <coughs> which uh, you've got to deal, keep in touch with your local officials uh, to avoid. So uh, uh, 